Okay, what's up people? It's me, Tunji from Caesar Graphic. This is what we're going to be doing today. Without any further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. Okay, so I got this mail from a client last week that I should do a design. And in the description of the artwork, the client put it there that we're having a prayer meeting for career and business professionals. So we need an artwork that would depict this. This thought came to my mind that I should get a picture of someone praying and um, a business area. So I decided to convert it to a double exposure image. Enough of the talking, so let's jump into today's tutorial. Okay, so let's create a new document. So I'll click on File and I'll select New. And um, let's give the uh, project a name, so I'll call this Double exposure exposure all right and um i'll give the width it's 16 by it's 16. so i'll just make this uh, 100 and i'll click create okay and um let's bring in the picture of the man praying so that'll be the first one i'll bring in so I'll drag and drop here and I'll scale the, I'll push this down at this point. I'll scale it real big. Okay. I'll scale it bit this size. Okay. And so I'm gonna right click now and select rasterize. So I'll click here and drag this. I'll draw, I'll draw a rectangle shape right there and I'll click on edit and select content aware scale and I'll drag this to this side. Double click to remove the, trans the transform um, point and I'll hit Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'll draw another rectangle on this side. All right, and I'll do the same thing. So I'll go to edit again. I'll click on content aware scale and I'll drag this up. All right, so let's bring it in. Let's bring in the uh, the skyscrapers image. So I'm going to drag this and drop here like this. I'll zoom in with Control Space Bar and I'll position this here. But I need to reduce the strength of the opacity so I can see the layer behind the layer of the skyscraper. So I'll position this here and scale it a little bit big, bigger. And I'll push this there this way. All right, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is to hide this layer and go to the layer of the membrane and I'll select the pen tool and I'm going to zoom in with control space bar and crop out just the head. All right, so I'm going to crop out just the head. So how did I do that? I held on Alt and I click on this point right here to break the handle. Because if I don't do that, let me show you what's going to happen. If I don't do that and I just click here, you see I have this part going out of the shape of the head. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click to break the handle. Then I'll have the grace to make another part that will fall on the line. That will be on the shape of the head. Excuse me. And I'll hold on Alt again and I'll click to break the handle again. And I'm going to draw this again and I'll break again and I'll draw this all right so I'll just close it this this way and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on control and hit enter to create a Marquee shape and I'll click on the uh, skyscraper layer so now that I have the shape of the head so the next thing I'll do is to click on the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to draw a shape like this uh, I'll hold on shift all right and to add this all right this way and I'll click on this like this yes then the next thing I'll do now is to add um, the um, layer mask I will just click or add this and I'm gonna make this visible alright so I'm gonna make this visible again by dragging this to go back to 100% 
and I'm going to zoom out with control space bar again and this time I am going to okay you know what let's go back let's reduce the opacity for now and I'll click on the layer max box select the brush tool and make sure you're on the soft round brush and I'll reduce the size of my brush with a square bracket I need to reduce it a little bit more all right so I because I need to see this side of the hair all right make sure this is set to um, white I guess no it should be black so I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard and I'll hit X to switch the color all right now the reason I hit this because before my foreground and my background color is set to white so the hitting D will set it back to the, the full color that needs to be there and the hitting of X is this all right it's not different from this is like you, you know you switching the color the way we have it here and now I'm gonna select I'm gonna come back to the max um, the add uh, the add layer max box here and I'll start brushing now notice when I brush the parts I don't want visible on the layer are going off so I'm going to just brush like this alright I'll do the same thing here now brush cool so I'm gonna make the layer visible again by dragging this up to about this point nice alright so I'm just brush just a little bit okay now looking at it now you see I have the um, layer the background of the skyscraper image visible here and I don't want that to happen so how do we remove that it's very easy so what you just need to do is to double click right here on the layer sorry double click right here and you have this all right you have the layer style um, dialog box appear on your screen and what I'm going to now do is to push this here like this now you notice when I move this to this side you see I have the parts that are brighter off the layer and the darker part of the layer are visible so if I push this here now you see uh, you notice my the, the part of the um, the background is now going off so I need to push this more in until I see the edges of my skyscrapers the buildings so I'm gonna move this to about this side and I think I'm okay with this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold on alt and break this and those so I'm gonna hold on alt and I'll push this back a little bit all right because if I don't I'm gonna have this two sharp uh, um, lines like two sharp edges here so but I don't, I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna push this back in just to make it smooth all right just to blend it and I'll push this into about this point here now you see it's making sense now now if you notice I have this shape of the head showing and I don't want that to happen so to take that off I'm gonna click OK now and on this um, layer the guy brain and I'm, I'm gonna make a new layer so I am going to hold down alt and click to bring the new layer um, dialog box so I'm gonna call this um, dark light just that. give it any name doesn't matter just give it something you know you'll find it easy to understand to find when you're looking at when you're looking for it all right so now I'm gonna sample the color of the background by holding and the I key on my keyboard and I'll click now notice when I click this changes the color of my background and I'll go back to my brush to make sure this is set to soft round brush now the soft round brush is always soft like this so I'm going to just brush this side of the image because I don't want this part visible now notice when I'm making my brush when I'm applying my brush I'm not going out of this side of the um, layer because if I do this is what's gonna happen and I don't want that to happen so I'll hit ctrl Z or command Z to go back and notice something uh, the color of my skyscraper is different from the color of the image so let's work on that so the first thing we're gonna do is I am going to go to the layer above the I'm going to click on the skyscraper layer and I'll go to the adjustment panel and bring in the curve adjustment now in between the curve adjustment and the skyscraper I need to create a solid color layer so I'll click on this icon and I'll choose solid color 
and I need to move this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to come here and bake this 80, 80, 80. All right, and I'll hit OK. And at this time, I'm going to position this somewhere below this, and I'm going to choose color as my um, blend mode. All right. Uh, actually, my the color blend mode is hidden right here. So make sure you use color as your blend mode. All right. So I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to push this up and okay. So I'm going to put this in uh, a folder. So to do that, I'll click on the layer and I'll hold shift and click on the um, folder icon here. Now it's inside the folder. So if I hide this now, you see it's hidden inside the folder. Now I'm going to call this some um, skyscrapers. All right. And I'm going to. So I want this curve I just meant to affect just this layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon here to um, say yes, I only want this to apply to this layer. So I'm going to make this visible. And. What am I trying to do? I am trying to um, blend this um, skyscraper layer with this image. All right, because looking at it now, you see the image, I mean, the layer of the guy brain is looking a little bit darker than the layer above, which is the layer of the skyscraper. So the shadow and the mid tone are not really. Um, blending so we need to blend them together so how do we do that it's very easy so i've um say okay i want this to apply to just this layer and i'm going to zoom out just a little bit with Control minus and i'll click on this icon right here and i am going to come here and drag this down make this look to be the to be the shadow all right of um the layer and this side is the mid tone while this is the highlight so i'm using this to work on this so if i get this darker kind of feel right here on any darker part of the image i'm making progress and if i have this part right here on um let's say 50 percent of the skyscraper image i'm also making progress so i'm going to come back here and i'll continue dragging this down till i have that dark feel yeah now if you look at this side now it was looking it's beginning to look like this side all right now the um mid tone which is here i'm going to drag this up just a little bit like this yeah i think i'm making progress now so if i hide this layer now and let's see now it's beginning to look like it so the one other thing i'm going to do is we need to blend this color right we need to make the color of this um skyscrapers look the same as this so how do we do that it's very easy the first thing we need to do is to create a new layer all right, so I'll call this color. All right, colors fine for me. Okay, so I'm going to come here first. Um, I need to um, click on the eyedropper two, and the, which the shortcut is I. All right, so this is it right here. So I'm going to first of all sample the shadow, which is this side, and I'll click on brush. And sorry, I'm supposed to be on the hard brush. All right, so I'm going to click on the hard brush. So hard brush here and I'll scale this down to about this size so I'm gonna do this and hold on alt or I or your keyboard to sample another color so I'm gonna calculate make the I'm gonna say this is my uh, mid tone and I'll come here this is my mid tone and this side right here will be my highlight okay so I think I'm gonna make this my highlight so I'm gonna come here. So I have shadow me to an highlight here. So I'm going to come here now and I'll hit Ctrl Shift I to invert and I'll hit delete. And I'll hit Ctrl D to deselect. So I'm fine with this. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is to click on the curve adjustment um, layer and I'll go to adjustment panel and bring in the gradient now like i did on the curve i only want this to apply to the skyscraper image so how do we do that just by clicking on this icon right here and make sure you are on this icon here not on this all right so you need to be on this and i'm going to click on this now and let's start with the shadow so this is our shadow here this is our mid tone here and this is our highlight so i'm going to bring the mid tone by just clicking anywhere here now you see my, i have my mid tone here all right so i need to click on this 
and then click on this and pick the shadow now what's my brightness my brightness is 25 so I'm gonna hit OK and on the location I'll make this 25 so I have this on 20 location 25 so on my mid-tone which is this I'll come here again and then sample my mid-tone and what was my brightness 75 so I'll hit OK and this time I want to hit 75 all right so on my highlights I'm gonna click on this and I'll do the same thing sample the highlight and what's my brightness on the highlight is 87 so I'm gonna click here now click OK and then choose 87 all right so I'm done with this so I'm gonna say OK and I'm gonna change my band mode down to soft light down now I'm beginning to make progress all right so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to reduce the opacity just a little bit like this all right just a little bit you know what let's see what color is gonna give me let's see if I use color uh, yeah I think color is making sense but not too much so I'm gonna reduce the opacity to be something around here yeah all right so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, yeah um, I think I'm gonna make a soft light instead so let's leave it as soft light now we're still not there yet all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hide this layer all right okay so I'm gonna hide this layer and I'll make this visible and I'm gonna change this to um, luminosity I guess so I'm gonna make this luminosity and but for this um, if you notice on the uh, skyscraper layer I have this green feel and I have this blue right here but I can't see anything like green on the layer of the guy praying so this enough is a sign for you to know that we still need to do some more work because it's not still blending so how do we correct this now I've hide this layer so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in the hue adjustments alright and first I'll start with red and let's see if I bring in nothing happen if I push it up you see I'm beginning to get this kind of uh, feel here right here so I'm looking at this color here and I'm looking at this color here so I'm using this to set this so I'm gonna push it down just a little bit yeah I think I think it's looking at it this what's this gonna give us ah no 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 spoiling it so I need to go back and I need to push it. yeah so then let's go to the next color which is yellow let's see what yellow is gonna give us so if I push yellow up oops it is not making sense so I'm gonna push this down I think I'm making sense so this side here now is beginning to look like this so I'm gonna push this down and let's see if I move this up no if I push this down yeah it's beginning to look at like it now so if you look at this side now all right and this side of my image I'm beginning to have that feel so let's see if I move this down more I think it's making sense now I think this is very nice all right so this is fine for this now let's see what green is gonna give us if I push green up no 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 it's pulling it if I push green down you see I'm beginning to have that blue feel I have here so if I adjust this right here let's see if I push this up about this time all right I think I'm okay with this so let's see what um, CN is gonna give us so if I drag this up no 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 if I drag this down all right making sense so if you drag this I'm gonna push this like this all right it's making sense right there so if I go to blue now and I push push great blue up uh now push this down let's see let's see let's see um let's see what magenta will give us so I'm gonna push this up I'll push this down nothing is happening so I'm gonna leave this as is all right so now let's ha take out the um, gray layer now and hide this now you see it's beginning to look like it I guess so let's just activate the um, gradient layer now and see what's gonna happen yeah I think I'm loving it now so if I move this up to where you see it's beginning to blend so let me show you the before all right I'm gonna show you before and after so if I hide this three layers now this is the before and this is after we apply all the three adjustment layer. All right. So I think 
or making sense now so the next thing i'm going to do is i need to now blend the colors so first i need to take out these two layers all right so let's just do some little color blending here so i'm going to click on this first layer now and i'll click on this icon adjustment icon no sorry yeah and i'm going to bring in the uh channel mixer good and for this i am going to move um i'm going to go to blue first and increase the and reduce the red all right i actually want to have that um yellow feel so let's see if i push this to about something around here i think it's making sense let's go back to red and add just a little bit red aha uh -huh. i think this is it all right so i'm okay with this now let's go back to color balance and just add just a little bit of um yellow to the mid-tone i mean blue to the mid-tone so if i push this to somewhere right here i think this is nice all right so i need to apply the motion blur so to do that i am going to go to filter or you know what before i do that i need to make this white so I'll hit ctrl or command i to invert so you see i have everything visible again and let's see this i need to push this all back to normal so i'll click ok and i've got a filter blur and i'll choose motion blur all right now this is exactly the type of motion blur i'm looking at and i'll hit ok and this time i'm gonna hide this and make this be behind this layer and i'll come back here again and hit ctrl i to invert it so i don't want everything to be visible i'm fine with it okay so i'm gonna click on this now and select brush all right and i will increase the size of my brush but remember don't make this the hard brush make use the soft round brush so i'm going to scroll up and click on this and let's just start brushing all right so i need to make this visible and make sure this is set to white so make sure you're on the mask um layer add layer mask box here and i'll start brushing you see i have this zoom effect showing on the screen sorry to increase that excellent excellent so I make this visible like this it's making sense all right so yeah i like this so i can even reduce the opacity just a little bit like this good nice very nice all right so to blend this i can add um i can create a new layer by holding alt and click right here and i'll call this born and i'll make this uh, overlay and check this okay and make sure i'm on the bone too right here and i will do the size of my brush so i'll just randomly create the bone effect on it bone on it bone it bone it bone it i think i am okay with this very very okay with this very very okay with this i'll zoom out so i have this Woo! this is making sense i love this so i'm gonna pause the video and by the time i come back you see my text on the screen all right so let me just quickly show you the fonts that i use right here so you guys can search for the same font also all right so we're almost um at the end of this tutorial so what i did is i put uh, my text in a folder so i target team all right which is the information here all right so i always advise you to do the same thing to make your work uh, your layer panel neat and make it easy for you to locate um your layers so what i did now is i selected all the layers with shifts and i i hold on shift again and i click on the folder icon here to put everything in a group so i'll double click this now and call this bg so that's why i have all my backgrounds okay so let me just give you the names of the fonts i use here so this is font right here is one of my best font and the font name is modern so to get it you can search for modern number 20 
so the font name is modern and the font i use here is bevers new all right so this is bevers new and um for the information at the bottom i use calibre all right calibre is a very popular font you can get all right so i think this is where i'm going to stop okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please if you're new to my channel remember to hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please remember to hit the like button all right and always remember to help share this video to help someone who is also looking forward to learn this effect all right so i'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace out